the population of a town was 8,000 at the beginning of uh, 1992. Okay, so beginning of 1992, that's a key word. The population was 8,000. And 15,000 at the end of 1991. So you can say at the beginning, so let's write the fact. At the beginning, at the beginning of 1992. So you had to count the whole year, 1992, the population was 8,000. At the end of, at the end of 1991, 1999, how many years are there? 1999 is 15,000. So these are the two facts. Okay, so you can say, yeah, if you consider this as time as zero, this is say 1992 is time zero. So you had to 1992, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight years. So when, so because this is at the end of 1999. So let me count again 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So this is 3, 6, and 8. So you got 8 years. At the end of 8 years, it was 15,000. Uh, assume the growth of the population of the town was exponential. Okay. We are assuming that the growth is exponential. Okay, and we want to find what's the population at the end of 2001. Okay, now whenever something is growing exponentially, uh, you have this equation where you can write like this, y, say, let us write p, p population as a function of time is, uh, you can say p0, which is the initial population, times e to the power kt. This is the general formula where p is the population for a given time. Okay, so when time is zero, your population is, when time is zero, your population is 8,000. Your population is 8,000. Okay, so, and when t is equal to 8, when t is equal to 8, the population is 15,000, 15,000. Okay, now I forgot to tell, when t is zero, p zero is the initial population. p zero stands for the initial population. So this p is not, not your p zero. So this formula can be written p as a function of time, population as a function of time, is 8,000 times e to the power kt. Now k is a constant, k tells you the rate of increase of the population. So p, p is 15,000 when t is equal to 8. So let's put this in this equation. So you can say 15,000 is the population when t is equal to 8. So this is 8,000 times e raised to, I'm going to put 8 in place of t, so this will be 8k. So uh, 15,000 divided by 8,000 is equal to e, e to the power kt. So this 8,000 and 8,000 gets canceled. Let me do the working here. So this is 15 over 8 is equal to e to the power kt. So I'm going to take log base e of both sides. So we can say log base e of 15 over 8 is equal to log base e of e raised to kt. 
Okay, so I'm, this is ba taking log base E on both sides. So this is log base E of 15 over 8 is equal to, using the log rule, this you can bring down, this is kt times log log times log base e of e. The log base e of e is 1, because here you're asking the question, e raised to what gives you e? That's e raised to 1 gives you e. So this is going to be 1. So you can say, uh, oh, I have made a mistake here. No. Okay, you know, that's not a major mistake. I should have written 8K. This is 8K. Uh, and this is 8K, not KT, because here you can see 8K. I should have carried writing 8K. So this is 8K. Okay, so now I can write log base E of 15 over 8 divided by 8 is equal to K. So, so K, I want the exact answer. I'm going to use a calculator. Now, how can you can do this on a calculator? On a calculator, you have a key called LN. LN is a natural log. And that has a base of E. So to you use a calculator, you have to press. So you have to press LN of 15 divided by 8 divided by 8 to get the value of K. So menu run menu 1. So natural log bracket 15 divided by 8 divided by 8 which is this number. So this is the rate. So if you change this into percentage, it says it's increasing at the rate of 7.8%. But we want this whole number. I'm going to save this as a letter, alpha A. Alpha A, oh. alpha X. Oops, let me cancel this. Delete. Let me do it again, sorry, natural log of 15 divided by 8, divided by 8, enter. And this I want to as alpha A. Okay, so let me confirm if you press alpha A, I should get that number. Well, that's good. So I'm going to write that as this is equal to A. So now I can write your P, so let me use a different color. P population as a function of time is 8,000 8,000 times e to the power at. Okay, so your a I remember calculator remembers. So let me show this on a calculator first to exp explain this formula. Will tell me that when time is zero, the population was 8,000, and when time was eight, it was 15,000. Okay. So my calculator remembers A, so go to graph and type in 8,000 times shift E raised to alpha A X. Now, okay, now before I draw it on a calculator, let me give you an understanding. So what's the, to understand this graphically, so let's graph this, a sketch of it. So this is your time T. And this is your population as a function of t. So we know the growth of the population is exponential, so it's growing somewhat like this. Your graph is going like this. So when it is time is zero, your population is 8,000. And say so this is say eight years. Okay, eight years, your population is 15,000. So this is 15,000. So I should now appropriately change the scale. I'll go on x-axis, I'll go from 0 to 10. On y-axis, I'll go from, say, 0 to 20,000. Okay? So shift F3, 
I'll go from 0 to, say, 20 years. Step of 1 is fine, and I, on y-axis, I'll go from 0 to, say, 20,000. 20,000, uh, scale of 1,000, and then draw it. So this is your graph. So if you go G-Sol and, G and Y-intercept, it's 8,000. And G-Sol, uh, your X-calc or Y-calc, when X is 8, it's 15,000. Okay. So now the question is, you can use the cal uh, your graph to answer this question at the end of 2001. So how many years? Okay. So end of 2000. So this is eight years. Uh, 99 is eight years. 2000. So up at the end of 10 years, isn't it? So at the end of 10 years, when T is 10, when T is 10, what's your population? That's the question. And here the question is, when P of T, your population is, say, 16,000, when population is 16,000, what is T? What is T? And here the question is, what is P of T? What's the population when T is zero? So let's use a calc uh, the graphic calculator. So so I have to put, to put t as 0 or x as 0, g sol and y calc when x is equal to 10. It will give you directly the answer. It is 17,000, uh, rounding it to uh, 0 or 10, so it will be 17,550. So this answer would be 17,550 people, rounding it to the nearest 10. Okay. And at the end of, when would it double? So I want to find G sol, your X, your T, when your population is 16,000. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, so this is 8.8, uh, uh, double off 1999, sorry, double off not double of 1999, so 1999 it was how much? Uh, so it's 30,000. Okay, so yeah, I should change the question. Double of 1999, not 1992, so that means it becomes 30,000. I have to change the scale again. So let me change the scale, shift F3, I change it to 30,000 or 35,000. And then draw it. Okay, and the G sol X calc, and this is 30,000. So it will take 16.82 years. Okay, in 16.82 years, we're almost the 17th year. So here the answer would be 16.82 years. Okay, or in the 17th year, uh, your population will go, will cross uh, 30,000.